My name is Lin Nguyen. I'm the climbing shoe developer designer here at Black Diamond Equipment. We felt that it was really important for us to have a small collection that covered from the very beginning climber to the most advanced climbers. And I think what's really new for us is that we're blending together traditional manufacturing methods with newer technology that we're getting from Asia. So European hand craftsmanship with newer materials like knit, like um, polyurethane molding, like molding individual rubber parts. So knit allows us to have cooler feet because it breathes really well and the knit material is really nice next to skin. We can weave it to be tight where we need it to have support and open where we need breathability. So the knit line is more breathability, entry level price point, general purpose all around climbing. The shape is asymmetrical and then low volume here and flat. And with that same shape, we made a more of an outdoor shoe from leather, uh, two millimeter German leather, that has a stiffer midsole. So when you're on your feet all day, it's much more supportive. When you're on a smaller hold, you have better edging strength. The laces on the outside of the foot is protected. So when you're foot jamming, you don't tear up the laces. And we also extended the tongue out here that allows you extra padded protection. It also has a more sophisticated RAN system. We call that up stabilizer bars. When we load the shoe, when we put our foot in the shoe, it expands and those stabilizer bars collapse around the outside of our foot, giving us a lot more torsional rigidity so when we're on a small hold, we don't roll around in the shoe as much. The Focus shoe, the men's here and the women's here, are meant for sport climbing on small edges where you have a lot of weight on your feet. It's also leather with a hemp liner, printed rubber, the tongue going into the panel, so it's a very simple closure, easy in, easy out, two straps. And then on the opposite end of the performance spectrum, where the Focus family is for a lot of weight on your feet, the Shadow is for the type of climbing when you have more weight on your arms. So steep overhung, it's super soft, there's no midsole here. Outsole is molded to be 1.3 millimeters in the middle and then 4.3 in the outside. So you can really compress that sole and really pull with it like an extra set of hands. The top of the foot has two forms of sticky rubber to toe hook off of. Within those, we have flex grooves so that not only are you just dragging your toes, you can actually manipulate your toes. And the knit gets the Neo Friction formula. On the aspect, we get the Neo Friction Force. We want a nice, durable edging rubber. That same Neo Friction Force goes on our Focus models. But then the Neo Friction Fuse, the soft rubber, we reserve for the shadow shoe. All models will be available right around January to all dealers in North America. I'm Manu Cordova from Spain. I work for Boreal. We develop Dharma Satori. We refresh them and we are presenting a new climbing shoe that is called Synergy. The last of Dharma is still the same. We made some changes. We changed the material, now our synthetic leather with a lining. We changed the, the entry, now it's more open and also the toe cup, it's over the run. It's the thickness climbing shoe in this range. The new Satori, the last is totally different, it's a less volume last. Also, we changed the material, now it's a synthetic leather and the toe cup, it's one piece with the run that we go round the run and get over the shoe. That makes that there are no glue problems, are more sensitive, thinner. Also, we changed the entry, and a big change is the heel. Now we take off the, the spur and it gets uh, rounded. Synergy is the narrower climbing shoe in the collection. Uh, we mix the two cup, we mix the uh, piece of rubber and the friction skin that we put in the mutant. It's a slippery with two velcros and it has no midsole. It's really soft, it's the super soft uh, climbing shoe in the collection. More for bouldering, competing or roof climbing. And we put the mutant heel that's very sensitive and very thin. We do women's version in Darman Satori. It's a less volume last and narrower. Darman Satori will be 160 retail price and Synergy will be 170. Get out on March 2018. 
I'm Brad Hilbert with Butora Climbing. So Senza is a performance sock shoe. Well, there are three aspects of this shoe that are added performance. One is this knit fabric that is in the upper of the shoe, and this is a jacquard. It's allowed to stretch a certain degree side to side, but not front to back. It won't blow out in all directions as you might find with other slippers. What we've done with all of our other shoe models is give you a wide and a narrow version. Um, and with this, you have an option of a midsole. You can have soft, soft, if you want to feel everything and you want everything to be soft on the shoe, or you can have the soft rubber and a slightly stiffer midsole option. It's the same heel that we use in our highest performance shoe. It's a high rebounding heel ran that stretches four ways with the addition of a molded heel cup in the back and it has this ABS midsole in there. We paid a lot of attention to the performance of this heel. And one of the really cool things about this shoe is that it's not flat lasted. With this shoe, it is a price point shoe. And we're not shy about it at all because we know climbers need a low price point shoe, but then we just didn't stop. So for a shoe at $79, you're usually not gonna find all of the added benefits that you're gonna get with this. There is a midsole in this shoe. There is also an organic hemp lining throughout the whole shoe. So no stink, no stretch. These are added things for structural integrity and performance. This mesh material is breathable and light, but very, very strong. That's Dyneema inside of this lace. Oftentimes people have issues breaking laces, not with this shoe. And finally, with the tongue of the shoe, also moisture wicking. This shoe also comes with an ABS midsole. If you're climbing all day in the shoe and it's bent up like this, and then you throw it in your closet or in your car, it always finds this shape again. So this is a flat-lasted shoe and symmetrical. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm with Evolve Climbing. The very first two we're going to talk about are Nighthawk and Skyhawk. These are $79 entry-level shoes, all leather upper with a synthetic closure system, so as the leather breaks in and stretches to your foot, the synthetic part keeps that fit and that performance out of it. These things are actually amazingly comfortable for all levels of climbers. The big difference between the Defy and Electra and the Nighthawk Skyhawk are Velcro versus lace-up, fully synthetic with an antimicrobial liner, and then leather. Similar fit, but not quite identical, and these are $89 price point due to the synthetic and the antimicrobial layer. The Defy and the Nighthawk are both our higher volume men's fit, and then the Electra and the Skyhawk are the lower volume. We did a different upper pattern on the Skyhawk versus the Nighthawk, so when you pick up the shoe, it actually looks like a different shoe because it actually is a different shoe. It's a different fit, different shape, lower volume. We want them to be available for men or women that just happen to have a lower volume or higher volume foot. Moving down the line, this is our X1. This is kind of a new shoe for Evolve, but a silly soft shoe. It is a slipper that's aggressive and downturn, but super soft, it just melts to your foot but the Velcro closure and the heel actually stay on your foot so you can heel hook and train in it. The main thing this is for is the gym and hard training. Its price point is also 140, so it doesn't break the bank, so you can save your high-end shoes for outside and on the project, and you can use this in the gym to make your foot stronger and have a great all-day comfortable training shoe. Next one down the line, this is our new big, beefy, technical high-top trad shoe, the General protects your ankles, gives you a lot of versatility and a lot of all day comfort, but is also a very technical shape. It is actually a slightly down cambered shoe for technical hard face climbing, or you go a little bit bigger on the fit and you just can wear it all day long. It actually has a layer of padding right above the toe box, a large toe patch coverage. Um, it also features the Trax XE edging rubber compound, so it's a little bit denser rubber. There's also a leather outer with a synthetic liner, so it will breathe, but it won't stretch and balloon out. And we did the same thing where there's a synthetic closure. That way the laces and the structure keep that fit and performance for you, even as the shoe breaks in. Retails at 170. This is Evolve's new flagship shoe, the Oracle. Ultra high performance, lace ups, you have a lot of range of fits. You're gonna buy one pair of shoes to do every style of climbing from hard sport climbing, hard bouldering, even slightly more comfortable fit for all day purposes. This shoe is amazing. It features the love bump and knuckle box midsole from the Shaman, but it also features the dark spine midsole and heel tension of the Agro. We kind of took our two favorite things from those two shoes put it into this one shoe with our brand new FSS heel tensioner. It stands for flexible slingshot. So these strings here actually attach all the way down underneath the rands and have the ability to pull from down there because they're not bonded above it. 
So the pull, as you lace it up really tight, actually pulls in the heel and the round sides and is on both sides. So actually the arch gets pulled up really tight. A lot of support and a lot of precision. There's a lot of toe patch coverage, so you could use it on very steep overhangs, but then with the stiff edging love bump midsole, you can still get a ton of power on very small technical face climbs. The heel midsole protects your heel on really hard heel hooks and overhangs and then also drives the toes forward so that way you get the maximum amount of power on the tiniest little nubbins. Split tongue for easy in and out, very comfortable fit once it is laced down very tight. This one retails at 175. All of these shoes are slated for early next year, but fingers crossed the Nighthawk and the Skyhawk will be available before November. Hi, my name's Dave from 510. I'm here to talk about the new Anasazi Pro. World Cup athlete Sean O'Coxey approached us and she was using the normal low volume women's version of the Anasazi and she asked us to put just some rubber over the toe. So that's sort of how the Anasazi Pro was born. So basically we started with just a normal Anasazi. Um, so same last as the Anasazi, same rubber, it's got Stealth C4, same midsole as well, but we just put a MI6 toe patch over the over the toe. And MI6 is our softest rubber, and then we also just added a little bit more heel tension just to make the shoe a little bit more aggressive. So the Anasazi Pro is coming in in both men's and women's version, um, and they're both available in spring 2018, and the price will be $170. So the Quantum is, VCS is a Velcro closure system version of our popular lace-up Quantum, which we introduced about a year ago. So the Quantum Velcro is built on the same last as the lace-up version, so it's a little bit wider in the ball girth here, a little bit pointier toe, so really good for pocketed climbing, sport climbing, but also a very stiff shoe, a very good edging shoe as well. It's got Stealth C4, which is our most versatile uh, rubber compound, so we use that on the shoes that you're gonna go on sort of every angle terrain. One of the big differences with the lace-up version and the Velcro version is we've added a lot of rubber over the toe. Everything else on the upper with the last is built the same shape. Um, it's got a perforated tongue here, nice and thin, very breathable, very comfortable for long use. It's a bit more of a high volume shoe, definitely for, for a larger foot. In there. So if you do have a low volume feet, uh, perhaps going with the lace-up version is a little bit better because you have a bit more adjustability there. Quantum Velcro is also a line synthetic. It's not really gonna stretch all that much. It's maybe a quarter size. So this will be available in spring 2018 at $185. Hi guys, I'm Everett with La Sportiva. The first model we'd like to release this year is the Futura Women's. Most people will be familiar with the Futura, which has existed in our line for a number of years. One of our softer, more sensitive, aggressive, sport climbing, bouldering shoes, featuring the no-edge platforms built on a different last than the men's model. It's going to be a little lower volume in the forefoot and the heel, allowing climbers to fine tune the fit based on you know a higher volume men's version, a lower volume women's version. The women's version will feature the same midsole construction as the men's version. We didn't see the need to really make that any softer in the women's model. Same rubber compound, Vibram XS Grip 2 in the outsole here. Unlined leather construction so it will stretch and mold to the climber's foot very well. Also both feature the fast lacing system. This will retail at the same price point as the Futura men's model at $185. It'll be available May to June of 2018. The next shoe that we're introducing this summer is the Squama Women's. Building on the success of our Squama men's version, just like the Futura Women's, the shoe is going to feature a lower volume last in both the forefoot and heel, allowing climbers to fine tune the fit and function of the shoe for their foot shape. The Squama Women's will feature the same midsole and split outsole construction of the Squama Men's, along with the S-heel construction from uh, the Squama and Otaki line. Again, lower volume through the heel cup, going to be in the softer, more performance-oriented side of our line, prioritizing sensitivity, downturn, and aggressive climbing position for the foot for steeper sport climbing, bouldering, and competition climbing. So the Squama Women's will be releasing in summer of 2018 at $165. So the next shoe that we're introducing is the Cobra Eco. Climbers who are familiar with the La Sportiva line will remember the Cobra Slipper. This year in North America, we're reintroducing the shoe as the Eco model. For those of you familiar with the Mythos Eco, this shoe incorporates many of the same design features, emphasizing environmental responsibility. The Cobra Eco will feature a fully recycled rubber made from actually the scraps of other shoes production. 
So when our factory is producing solutions or testerosas, La Sportiva actually will take those scraps, melt them down, revulcanize them, and we call that our friction eco rubber. Same performance as the, any of the other rubber compounds we use. Additionally, the leather and the nylon on the shoe are all environmentally sourced. The leather is eco tanned, it features no heavy metals, water-based glues for both the uh, rand construction and water-based dyes for the leather as well. The Cobra is an unlined leather shoe featuring an elastic and nylon gusset. There's a very thin 0.8 millimeter Lospo Flex insole in here. A lot of the shoe's stiffness does come from the outsole being a one-piece design. We'll retail at $140 and release in summer of 2018. The final show that we're releasing at Outdoor Retailer is the Gecko Gym, designed specifically for indoor climbing and training, featuring the La Sportiva XF 2.0 outsole for durability and performance, split sole, designed to add a little sensitivity with a powerful midsole for support for long days in the gym. Additionally, the Gecko Gym features a washable silver-lined upper, specifically designed for climbers who spend a long time training in their shoe. Train all day in this, throw it in the washing machine, let it run a cycle, take it out. You don't want to put it in the dryer. Let it air dry on your counter. It's clean, it's ready to go again. Won't get funky like many other gym training shoes do. So the Gecko Gym is designed on one of our Comfort Last, our RD45 Last, providing a nice, comfortable fit small degree of asymmetry, slight downturn. The Gecko Gym men's and women's will both retail at $110 and be available in spring of 2018. My name is Kenny with Mad Rock Climbing and we're gonna talk about the Weaver. What we wanted to introduce to the market is the new knit technology that's been prevalent in athletic shoes. It's got a lot of good properties that we wanna put onto climbing shoes. Very breathable, very stretchy, very comfortable. We decided to build that shoe off the uh, popular Flash Last. It fits a lot of different foot shapes and it becomes even more versatile because of this knit fabric. Also, there is some elastic properties in the knit fabric, so it'll try to bounce back to its original shape. New Flash heel. We've also made the heel very thin and very soft. We do have a new uh, tongue. It doesn't have too much padding. It's very breathable and stretchy. Yeah, very nice on the skin. Uh, this is something that you would see on your high-end athletic shoes. So you'll see a lot of people, you know, who have very low volume feet, kind of cinch that down too far. So with this lamination technology, what you can do is cut to any shape or any length, and the straps won't split open. It retails for $99. Uh, it'll be available in the U.S. starting in October of this year. So the Flash 2018, uh, we wanted to obviously keep the similar fit in the toe box, similar fit all around. Uh, the feedback we got from the Flash 2.0 was that everyone loved the front half of the shoes, but the heel, people weren't too psyched about it. We changed the heel design for it to fit better. It's definitely thinner and more flexible, and it starts off uh, very small compared to the Flash 2.0 heel. People who love the Flash toe box still get that toe box, and then they get that improvement in the back half of the shoe that they've been asking for. We do have a new tongue uh, design for the Flash. That's uh, really nice against the skin. It's very breathable, it's a little bit stretchy. So we wanted that like comfortable, like tight feeling without the pain associated with that tightness. All our new models get this new tongue. $89 US, uh, available starting in October of this year. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about the new drone. It comes in uh, two versions, high volume, and also a low volume version in the, in the green. We took in a lot of feedback from our athletes. It was time to address those issues that the shark has with the drone. You have that pointier toe box, a little bit more precision in pockets, it's on smaller edges, that kind of thing. We have the full length climbing sole that's attached to the heel. Overall, the whole platform's gonna be stiffer and more support for your foot. Um, with the arch flex, uh, that's been a big hit with our shark model. And we actually wrap the arch flex around and twisted it and back up. So whereas the shark is just a hugging force, this is actually a rotational and hugging force at the same time. The heel also, this is a much smaller heel than the shark. It starts off much smaller, but we still wanted to make sure that it fit the big heel cup sizes. So we do have a new expandable heel design, so a little slot here and a big window on the inside. So it starts off small, but if you have a big heel, it'll expand to kind of fit. And then of course, if you have a super low volume heel, you can go to the low volume model. So we do have a big uh, generous toe patch, but we didn't connect it to the outer rand. With this stretchable, you know, synthetic fabric, we get that, you know, expansion as well with this one. So we offer in two volumes, so you can kind of precisely find that right fit. You can go up in size in the low volume, 
you'll get a longer length, but you have a lower volume. So if you want that profile to be more flat, you can go into the low volumes. So if you, or if you want that boxier toe profile, you have a bigger uh, heel cup, you can go into the high volume, vice versa. So you can really kind of fine tune uh, what kind of uh, shoe you want, uh, what kind of performance you want out of the shoes. My name is Stefan Globatz. Um, I'm a professional rock climber and I'm the founder of Red Chili. And we brought out uh, a couple of new beautiful products. The Voltage Low Volume. With all the features of an absolutely core high-end shoe. So we have on this one a low volume version like a, a narrow last, less volume in the front part and in the heel part, a narrow heel and a lower heel. So it's perfect for small feet, but also women feet. But still we're using, of course, a Vibram XS grip on the shoes as well. And all our core shoes and high-end shoes, a preheated midsole. It's, it's a molded um, a midsole for every single size. This preheated midsole keeps the downturn in the shoe over a long period of time. And the tension from the heel part to the front, we get with uh, this rubber strap here and this part on the full stretch and it always keeps the tension in, in the shoe. The toe flap is a, one single piece combined with a rand and high performance seal uh, for, for heel hooking. Beautiful shoe for feet with low volume. Price for the Voltage will be uh, $9.69. Available in the shops in February, March 2018. I'm very happy to present you the Charger because it's a, a shoe for a completely new climb, climber's generation because uh, in Europe indoor climbing is becoming so big that uh, climbing becomes a fitness sport. For this group, mainly staying indoor, um, we built a special very comfy indoor climbing shoe. So you have a double rand and when you worn the shoe, you get a hole in, in the front. You see a blue, blue rubber coming out, but you still can climb in it. It's very comfy, the shoe. It has a stiffer midsole, so it gives you a lot of support. It's a full leather shoe, so it's very comfy, and also a leather footbed inside. No downturn at all. It's a flat-lasted uh, shoe. Cost uh, 119 uh, in the shop and comes out as well in February and March. My name is Mark Busby. I am the Climbing Category Manager for Scarpa North America. For Spring 18, we are launching the new Maestro family. Two models, a men's and women's mid and men's and women's low. An eco leather, which is more sustainably sourced. It's got less nasty byproducts that are given off during the tanning process. If we flip the shoe over and you could see inside it, we can see that the positions of the seams have been moved away from underneath your toe and from on top of your knuckles. So it becomes, again, a very, very comfortable shoe to wear for extended periods. Here on the, on the mid, we've got um, full length protection over the laces, and that's the first point of difference between the uh, low version. We can see that we've got um, exposed laces here. So protection, and here we've got easy adjustability. And there's this kind of large disc that sits here underneath the laces, cushions the top of your foot. This is all built on a new last, and I believe that this is the first women-specific mid um, on the market. It's uh, a brand new active rand. It kind of it's a combination of our really popular bi-tension active rand and our PCB active rand which is up here. It kind of runs round here under the foot and back this way and then we've got um, a sort of stream that goes under here. It allows us to kind of have that shoe that is very very supportive but also kind of sensitive. The pull and the charge and the dynamism that's in this shoe is kind of more explosive than here. This gives a kind of a more gentle extended um, release of energy. You know you've got this all day comfortable use, quite technical and here you've got something that's a bit more technical, more face climbing, more small kind of edges. And XS Edge on, on all of them, uh, February, March time, and that's going to retail at $190. Released at the same time is the low, and that's $180. Uh, my name is Brenna, I'm with Trango and Tanaya, and this is our new shoe, the Mundaka. It's our first truly split sole shoe. It is our most aggressive model in the line as well. A little bit stiffer toe box than some of our other more sensitive shoes. Similar strapping system though, it alleviates a lot of the tension that this Velcro tab holds so over time it's not going to blow and it also allows you to micro adjust so you can really fine tune the fit which is really awesome about our shoes so it's got a wide range of fit overall. Foot shape is not necessarily gender specific so we do all unisex models. In this model we use 
use Vibram Excess Grip for the outsole rubber and we wrap the heel cup a little bit higher. So really great bouldering shoe, um, aggressive heel hooking absolutely is gonna do well in this shoe for sure. A little bit more rubber over the top as compared to some of the Aerial Plus line. So all of our models are all made with synthetic leather. How they bond that ran rubber to the outsole eliminates that bulge factor that you get in some of the shoes. So that precision is, is really awesome. This shoe will be priced at 180 and it's available now. Uh, I'm James, I'm here to introduce you to the new rock shoes from Wild Country. Two new shoe models that have an innovative construction in the upper and they have an innovative compound developed in collaboration with Michelin. So this shoe is the Meshuga. It is slightly downturned, uh, slightly asymmetric. It has slightly uh, higher toe box so you can, can adopt a more aggressive foot shape and then it has a reasonable amount of tension in the heel. Uh, the Parthian is a lace shoe, it's very straight and quite slim and low in its profile so you can adopt more, a more natural foot position. It's excellent for precise footwork on small holds, footwork in small pockets and, and sort of footholds that might be obscured by a deviation in the rock. The shoe is a, a microfiber construction, so two layers of microfiber with a PU layer sandwiched in between. And the PU acts like rubber on other shoes, so typically shoes have like a, an external skeleton of rubber. We've actually uh, created an internal tensioning system, so you can actually use one tenth of the thickness of PU than you would need rubber to tension a rock shoe. And then PU is incredible really, you can work with it um, in one complete sheet but vary the thicknesses in different areas, 0.1 millimeters at least for the entire shoe's um, surface surface area, but then where we need the tension we've increased it to 0.3 and that effectively acts like 3 millimeters of rubber wood under tension. So you get a very consistent tension of the foot from the very first time you wear the shoe to the very last time. We actually haven't got a midsole in the Meshuga. It relies on a 45 degree over knit of fabric over the toe box which wraps underneath the foot and then effectively when the shoe is loaded this over knit of 45 degree fabric compacts down on top of the foot so it's kind of relying on your foot for the tension rather than relying on a midsole under the foot and then when you release you get that energy back as you leave a small foothold. At uh, first glance it's very very different to other sole units that are out there. So it comes out of a Teflon coated mould which doesn't actually require any wax or any release agent so you don't need to buff the rubber or grind the rubber to finish it which means you'll have 100% rubber in contact with the rock at all times. So there's no heathering which would allow chalk or dirt to be compacted into the shoe. The rubber itself has been developed in collaboration with Michelin. Our brief was was to create something with a higher level of friction than our competitors, but with excellent edging properties and with excellent durability as well. Um, and that's exactly what they've achieved. The Parthian and the Meshuga, and they'll be available in 2018 at 180 US dollars. I'd say treat it, you know, treat it like a rope. Like, don't put it on, murder. <laughs> hot from your machine still shouldn't be like enough to cause delamination, hopefully. Either that or your house is like a raging death trap. <laughs> you know, turn the shower past halfway and somebody dies.